Today I will discuss about the battery sizing calculation. These are the industrial application battery and this is particularly lead acid battery. So in this video I will discuss about the sizing calculation of lead acid battery for the stationary application and this is following uh, the standard IEEE standard 485. So this IEEE standard 485 is for the lead acid battery sizing calculation and IEEE triple one five IEEE triple one five is for nickel cadmium battery. So in this video I will discuss about the lead acid battery sizing calculation. So these are the basic input data we need for the battery sizing calculation. So uh, one by one I will go. Okay. So this is the uh, these are the given uh, inputs. So type of battery uh, this is the lead acid VRLA lead acid battery. Nominal cell voltage that will also be provided as input that is 2 volt. Nominal battery voltage is 110 volt. So this will be defined why that it is uh, 110 volt uh, DC or 220 volt DC. It will be mentioned here. So this is also input parameter. Next is coming one important uh, factor that is in cell voltage which is called ECV. In cell voltage uh, is the minimum system voltage divided by number of cells. So here the uh, minimum system uh, voltage uh, this is this is coming from this is coming from the uh, data below. I will go minimum system voltage here. So I will come later. And here uh, uh, N cell voltage so that will be calculated from the uh, N cell voltage uh, from minimum system voltage divided by number of cells. Okay, so what are the assumptions to start the battery sizing calculation here? Number of cells per battery set that is 121 divided by 2.2 how it is coming. So it is coming uh, E29 divided by E31. So he, E29 means the maximum system voltage. So here maximum system voltage is 110 percent. So it is coming 110 this is 110 uh, voltage multiplied by uh, 110 percent so it is coming 121 volt and in the similar way the minimum system voltage is 90 percent we have considered so 90 percent means uh, 90 percent of 110 volt that means it is coming 99 voltage 99 volts and cell voltage cell voltage required for the stationary charging that is float voltage that is 2.2 is also defined okay so now we can go back to uh, this equation here in cell voltage to calculate the in cell voltage this is e27 by e24 that means uh, minimum system voltage divided by divided by number of cells this number of cell is 55 how it is coming number of cell in the battery system as you can see this is the maximum system voltage by float voltage so maximum system voltage is uh, that uh, 110 percent of 110 volt so 121 divided by float voltage is 2.2 volt here we have considered 2.2 volt so this is number of cell per battery this is coming 55 so selected number of cell is 55 so again we have considered this uh, minimum system voltage as 90%, maximum system voltage as 110% and float voltage 2.2 volt. Equalizing voltage this is 2.33. So this will come from the battery manufacturer as well. Boost voltage 2.75 volt. These are the standard for, uh, uh, for uh, lead acid battery. Maximum number of cells is 55. So the maximum maximum battery voltage is 55 multiplied by 
because it is coming from uh, the data E31 that means float voltage so, uh, cell voltage required for satisfactory uh, charging float voltage so mar, mar, mm, this 55 multiplied by 2.2 is coming 121 okay and minimum battery voltage minimum battery voltage is this is the concatenate value so 55 multiplied by 1.81 e16 e16 uh, means here in cell voltage so in cell voltage this is the in cell voltage we calculated 1.81 so in cell voltage is required for the minimum minimum battery voltage so this is coming 99.55 volt okay we have considered the design margin as 1.1 and aging factor aging aging factor is 1.25 considered that means 25 percent so this is design margin 10 percent and this is the aging factor is 25 percent next is coming temperature correction factors this is 1.1276 this temperature correction factor is discussed below so so these are the factors we need to consider then capacity rating factor kt for the battery performance we have considered here the excite battery graph uh, for for vrla cells to find out the kt factor okay for battery duty cycle i will discuss in a separate video because this will be very lengthy video so i have split it in uh, uh, a uh, few set of videos okay now temperature correction factor how to calculate this nominal temperature is 27 degree centigrade and electrolyte electrolyte temperature is 5 degree centigrade maximum temperature 50 degree centigrade so as per the standard we can calculate the temperature correction factor this is very standard formula uh, this is c27 by ct so this is the formula at t equals to uh, small t equals to 5 degree centigrade so for cr5 r equals to 0 0.58 this is as per the um, code this is coming so so that we can calculate the temperature correction factor is 1.1276 this is very important factor to find out the battery sizing uh, rating so this temperature correction factor is uh, is required uh, here you can see temperature correction factor is 1.1276 so these are the three factors one is design margin which is considered 10 percent next is coming aging factor which is 1.25 times so one uh, 25 percent then uh, temperature correction factor is 1.1276 so these factors will be considered during battery sizing calculation so in the next video I will uh, I will uh, go to the next step which is battery duty cycle